Hey guys, my name is Shayla. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I vlogged my whole pregnancy and now I'm vlogging now that I have a baby and I make these videos to like talk about the things that you have no idea what to expect or what they're about until you're just in the thick of it. Especially now with COVID, we just have like no one coming over and just like helping us with like, oh, why don't you do like this? Like, oh, that makes way more sense. I don't know, maybe because I've never done this before. This video, we are gonna talk about breastfeeding must-haves. I'm also gonna say that I'm gonna talk about boobs and nipples a lot in this. So if you're a guy or you're my dad or something and you're not into that, just come back for the next video. I wanna start this video with you do you, girl. The main purpose for these videos is to just, I want you to feel so empowered in like your own choices. If breastfeeding didn't work out for you because of your mental health, that's fine. You need to do whatever's best for you. So I'm gonna give you the things that worked for me. Take the pieces that you like, leave the pieces that you don't. I just wanna start with that because I just don't want, I just want everyone to feel welcome here. If you are pregnant and you are hoping to breastfeed, the best advice that I can give you, tough it out for two weeks because for two weeks it is hard. And mine went fairly easy. When you're about to feed, you're literally looking at yourself going, which one is less damaged? Which one is like not about to bleed? Usually it's just painful when they latch and then once they're latched, it's, it's usually better. If you are having that, talk to a lactation consultant when you are in the hospital still. There's things that they can check like lip ties and tongue ties to make sure that you can get a good latch. They will tell you to go back and forth with your boobs and there's like all these tricks. Like you can put a, whatever this is, scrunchie on this side and then when you feed on this side, you switch it to the other side so you know to start there. Or you can just feel. Literally every time I think that Aaliyah is hungry, I'm like, if you can, when your baby's first born, try and have them latch right away. Apparently, your like nipple releases this liquid that smells similar to the amniotic fluid. So when they come out, they're attracted to it right away. So the sun's coming out now. It wasn't out earlier. That's fine. So let's just get into my list. I'm giving you a list of things that you absolutely need to have if you're breastfeeding and things that you can skip. Zihaka. It's pretty amazing. Like this was sent to me by somebody. They're like, this isn't on your registry, but you need it. I liked the Haka because I felt like I wasn't gonna overproduce, but I was just kind of helping my supply with keeping it going. This is an old version. Now they have suction cups on the bottom. Get the one with the suction cup because trust me, this thing weeble wobbles and will fall down and milk goes everywhere. You can just suction it to the table. And then they have these things. I do not like this. It's just kind of, I don't know. It doesn't work for me. They have actual lids, just get the one with the cap. I'll link it in the description if you guys are interested in it, which you should be because it's essential. So what happens is baby's feeding on this side, you throw this on this side. In the beginning, I would just squeeze this on my boob. Now, you need to peel this thing back, give it, then give it a little squeeze, and then let this come back up on your boob. I'm telling you, your nipple might go down to here. Things might turn purple that are not normally purple. It's a weird time, but when I first started, this filled up with like four ounces. Now I'll get like an ounce or two. So that's how you use the haka. Here are a couple things. So the haka, you're not supposed to throw in the dishwasher. So how do you clean it? This is good for the haka. This is good for chew toys. This is good for uh, nooks. It's a sanitizer bag. This, you can see how many is two ounces. You fill this up with two ounces of water. The two ounces in, throw the haka in throw this in the microwave and it sanitizes this thing in between feedings I'll just put it in the fridge so that it can't like fester and that's what I do if you're tired and you can't find your haka look for this bag you have no idea how many times I've lost my haka just in this bag I'm just scanning the counter can't find the haka and then I'm like oh after you've got the milk in here what do you do in my fridge I have post-it note that says a.m. and a post-it note that says p.m. fill this up with milk and put it in the day spot right then, a couple hours later, I pump again and I get more milk. This one's warm, this one's cold. I cannot combine them. So this one stays in the fridge, this one just goes in the fridge too, and then when they're both cold, you can combine them. When you do the storage bags, mark if it's AM or PM, because of that melatonin, and other, there's lots of other things, like better for day or night or whatever. So I was told not to fill this up more than four ounces. So that's what I'm gonna tell you. It has something, I haven't, my baby has not taken a bottle yet. 
She's only three months. She's taken probably four bottles. But what I've been told is when you need them, you want four ounces, not six, because you don't want to have to waste the milk if they don't use it. Store it in the freezer like this, because then you can stack them. Like, And when you need to unthaw them, they will unthaw a lot better all spread out. What's next? You are gonna need some nipple cream. This is Cora Organic Nipple Cream. Not my favorite, if I'm honest. The one that I really, really loved was Earth Mama Organic, and I will link that below. With Earth Mama, I was like, should I get one or two? I would get two of the small ones, one for your diaper bag and one for home. And then if you run out of the home one, you can take the diaper bag one. You need some nipple butter. I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna buy a nursing bra because I just don't need that. I feel like that's just dumb. Well, I was wrong. It's a little bit easier for me because of COVID, but when I go in public, I always have a nursing bra on because it just makes it so much easier. My favorite is Kindred Bravely. So I'm gonna show you a different, a couple different kinds. My favorite is a sports bra because that's what I wear in general. Just unsnap from the top and then you just have your boob. My doctor recommended waiting until my milk came in before I bought these because some people go from A's to double D's. You just don't know. Kindred Bravely also has breastfeeding, breast pumping bras. So let me show you this one. Should I put it on? So this one's got two clips at the top. One clip. It's just, it's just like mean girls. You stick your pumping instruments through here so that you can be hands free. If you're not pumping and you're just breastfeeding, that second clip, gets you access to the boob. Or if you're a multitasker, maybe you're pumping on one side and feeding on the other. You see what I'm saying? There's lots of options here. There are also under, um, under wire ones like this. Same thing. Just pop it up and it opens up. So now you have to think about clothes that you can wear that you can easily access your boob like at all times. Here's an old t-shirt. Do all the things. All I did was cut it off like the boys do at the gym. You can be like, yeah, no problem. Well, bam, and just feed your baby. The other one that I'd used a lot in the beginning, same thing, you could just go Okay, on baby list, I will link this below as well. There's something called a sample box. No, it's not, it's called a bottle box. Yeah, bottle box, they give you one, two, three, four, five different kinds of bottles. That's amazing because your baby might take one bottle and not take another. Didn't know this was a thing. There's also different sizes of nipples, depending on like how much milk they'll let out. So for little babies, you want like just a little bit of milk to let out. When they're bigger, you want it to really let out the milk, otherwise the baby's gonna get frustrated and be done. Who knew, right? I thought a bottle was a bottle was a bottle. No, you're welcome. Um, Here's another thing. These little circles. These are nipple pads. There's disposable ones, but I'm not into all the disposable things. We're also doing cloth diapers. I'll do a video to that. These are from Bamboobies is the brand. They're amazing. Apparently these are night ones. I wear them all day long because they're big enough that it doesn't really leave too much of a seam. This is super soft. They're kind of expensive, but so I've tried other brands like this. Do not buy one with a seam. This is super bulky underneath your bra. This one's a lot smaller, and so when you wear it on your bra, under your bra, you can like see the ring. So the big one kind of like does, you see less of the ring. Oh, and then there's a nipple shield, which a lot of people use. This is in the beginning when your nipples are super, super raw. Baby would chew on that, and that would get you to let down. I just didn't do it. I don't know why I didn't do it. The other thing that I would recommend getting is just some sort of caddy thing like this I would put the haka the bottles the nipple cream maybe an outfit diapers wipes just anything that I like because I I would go from the living room into our bedroom and then I would need all that stuff but you're also carrying a baby two items that I would do without one I would probably recommend for most people but if you have a super long torso not the case this is called boppy a breastfeeding pillow when you're sitting down you hook this around you and your baby rests nicely here, or they can flip over and rest on the side. Well, as you can see, my torso is super long, so I still kind of have to go like this. So it's not comfortable for me. But if my torso was shorter and the baby was just right at boob level, this thing would be amazing. And Setha would always make fun of me. You look like you're about to deal me some cards. Like this is my card table and I'm about to deal him some cards. I'm just straight. Feeling. You're what? <laughs> awesome. Yeah. 
So this does not work for me. I like just ended up using blankets or pillows or just my arm. If you have a shorter toe, so I think this would be really nice. And then the last thing that I would not recommend, this is a not recommend under no circumstances, are these. These are like little nipple shields. Reason number one, how weird does this look? It just like pokes out like that. Like that's so bizarre. No, I'm not about that life. I already was in a diaper, uncomfortable, having painful nipples. And then I had to wear this on top of it. I was embarrassed in front of Seth. This was just another level. I understand the idea is so that you give your nipples some relief. So I guess that's good, but like look closely. You can see that there are holes. So I'd be wearing these and then I would bend over to pick her up and I would just give her a milk shower. At first I tried like collecting the milk and I was just like, no, these are a no. I also breastfed for six weeks because that's what I was told is like to get a good breastfeeding regimen going. I think I wish I would have introduced bottles even just a little bit because I, I feel like that's part of the reason why she doesn't take bottles. She also doesn't take a milk, so I don't know. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you got some good tips for like things that you need, things that you don't need. If you have any questions, please comment below. You can follow me on Instagram. That's where I am like every day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye. Good morning. Hi. Are you so pretty? Yeah. How did you sleep? Did you sleep okay? Yeah. I love you.